across the line. And this pistol, a lot of mid control going towards big, but those fights are not swinging their way, at least to start with a couple of headshots later. And we're in relatively even ground, but that one final kill... When in reality, they've got so much more control than that. A decent flank coming in already from Twist, and then the dash away just about saves the life of Kata. That was very close indeed, seconds. the wall about to cut them off, but Casp is down anyways, and Twiston very nearly follows suit. Just 45 oh, HP five, remaining, five. a quick kill on a shadow, but Kata turned throw that utility early, and in fact, oh, that's a, that's a good, good little peek coming out, because that was the difference between having a cage and the cam and all the little trips and having absolutely nothing for Casp. One at least he's able to take the one down, even while being revealed, but there was no way out of there. Absolutely no way to escape, and in fact, Obnox has kind of taken a oh, risk by sticking no. around Sender. We mentioned him earlier. His ability to just sneak his way in behind and take those gaps is incredible, and right here it's paying off. Back finding another frag leaves them with a huge advantage, and Big are now scrambling to get back into this site. All the while, Sender is still finishing that flank. He's on his way through the spawn, and they know all they need to do is run that clock down. Twistin, good for the double but here comes Sender, and if they don't check for him, that's a free- Oh my god, it should have been free! It was a little bit dicey! One massive bigger playing right now. They have a bunch of players rotating into the A site, who are gonna have super long range duels to hopefully protect Twiston, but Twiston has dropped inside his ult, now they can just steam through those players waiting inside Cave, come out to help the rest of the team, the plant is gonna be found, and big and a three versus four retake to mount time, now their enemy. And they have two players flanking as well, one waiting in mid, and then you have the wraparound coming through once again. Nice shot from God B. If they can clear out these players towards the front of the site, they actually have a very good opportunity to try and get the defusal through, and they're waiting for Sender as well. Now, they didn't necessarily expect Vac, but this needs to be a shot connected by Shadow, and instead Aslan lands the remaining shot. There should be no chance here for Vac, and well, he's gonna run out of time, looking like- Where's the reveal? And Sander's gonna be dropped. He can just find a plan, but there's a big, big problem. Twiston doesn't manage to escape it. He actually ends up getting suppressed. That orb's gonna go down. He can't put his second snake bite into play. That's a big reveal and a big stun for them. <gasps> Twiston, no, somehow manages God tier timing. They don't check him, and all four kills go to Twist. Well, they didn't lose anything in that round. What a massive play from Twist at just the right moment. In towards the B site they go. Kaspa now has to be the hero for his team. Oh! What is going on? He's full blind! Oh my god. They walked right into him and ignored him completely! Somehow he only gets away with one. That is a blessing for Vitality, but they've lost Brahms, and that was the second the that he activated the Viper's Pit. <laughs> oh, heartbreaking. Vitality still have the Blade Storm though, and a lot of control on this site. The potential mid flank to come on through, and is that? That wasn't blind, was it? Oh, oh, he's gonna get pushed, but Twist and lands the shot. They're somehow making this one work. Sender in what is a pretty surprising corner. I don't think anybody's gonna be checking this one. He's not gonna get anything though. Twist actually kills both. Realistically, from this point onwards, I, if, if Big lose more than a couple of players, I'll be a bit disappointed. It's definitely supposed to be a little bit easier. Twisting down. And now Vitality are in towards the site. They've got a lot to play with. Obnox blinds himself and Rams takes him down. God B with a shock dart from afar to try and deal some more damage. He's crept his way over. Only seven bullets inside that magazine, but more than enough, he says. Running out, though, and having to go to the classic 16 health to play with. And his teammate only on the way now. It's gonna be a reveal, but it was information they already had. No spams found through the screen about to drop Brams. Looking to finish Gobby off here. He's already so low, but with Casp's frag, they might be able to pull this one back. Shadow left with just a sheriff. This round was looking to be Vitality's. The time ticking away. Shadow will run it all the way through Cave, but he's now being spotted. They look to line him up. God be fallen already, and there's the angle to save the round. They're not going to want to watch that one back. <laughs>
for this God specific be reason. God be God be from his mistakes. So this is a little bit of a fake. The problem is he's walking into the site completely on his own, and the Seekers actually gives things away. They're going to go back towards the A site. The problem is at this point is God B is on his own. He's going to get caught. Ooh, it's an awkward fight, but Sender will win it. Twiston has at least managed to keep the site competitive, but then he's caught as well. Back into a 2v2 scenario. And well, this time there's actually a flank coming out from the defenders. Yeah, if he can get up towards those mid doors pretty soon, they could have an opportunity, but in goes the recon from Shadow. And that's a reveal as well. As well as a bunch of missed shots. So that's timing as Obnox gets isolated. Asper's now making his way through the site. And he might have a chance here on his right. Oh, he doesn't see him. Shadow's only slightly off the screen. They've passed by each other. Ships in the night given Caspa the perfect opportunity. As he rounds the site, he's gone. Oh, no. He sees Sender, but he has no idea. Where's the second player gone? Bullet. Surely inside of main. Where else would he be? This is no problem. As he taps it, he will clear the corner, but turns away. At yeah, that's one of the things, right? Oh, this door. Twiston is defending it while he still can. Those days will be gone soon. Shadow. Uh, just to shut him down. Oh, knocks on the back side, though. He's looking to rotate back in the other direction. Back. Ooh, oh, it's awkward. And actually, he's going to win the duel. Casper with an opportunity, but it's gone back into a 2v2. And the, the spike is already running its way into B. So this is going to be an easy afterplant and a two versus two. This is starting to become a little bit concerning now. The rotation in somehow. Aslan gets that kill. Quick with the operator. Now Sender is going to try to sneak his way around, but little does he know they haven't even made it towards the tunnel yet. Look at that, though. A Sender's sense of timing as he hears the steps. He's making it right up behind them, and oh, they have no idea! The freest Beautiful. double kill of Sender's life! And that is... Big for letting those moments slip, but there's always somebody that's the figurehead of those comebacks. This is a tough hold for Casp. He's going to be shut down immediately. Another kill for Vitality. The three versus two. Oh, so much damage coming out of Fragment as well. That finishes Obnox off, and it's left down to Twist, and this man has been clutching the A pretty big response for me to feel confident. Had a not really in favorable duels there, and actually gets headshot by Aslan from miles away. Vitality. Man advantage, going to their opponents, low HP on back, in fact he gets taken down right after I say that, and they have to fight back in towards the site through a Viper's wall. I feel like they need a hero right now, Sender. Maybe he's going to be it, but there's a drop down behind him, Obnox. Swing out, didn't really work too well, but hey, they've, they've got themselves onto the board, they're even going to kill off Brams at the end. Out, my god, Planted. he's got one HP. Yeah, but while this is all going on, it's just been a walk onto the A site. The the plant's gone down, and sure, Sender has managed to get up close, but they're just looking to retreat and basically play this one completely from the cave. It's not the most comfortable of setups, and if there's any utility to hold them back, it could become quite awkward, but they actually throw in the Seekers, box some of the bullets for them, and then Aslan comes up big with a couple of kills. However, Kata has responded in turn. Three kills to his name. The cam will reveal that they're actually on the defusal. The martial shot's not quite connecting, and they're just sticking this defuse. It's a... Oh, what a shot. Twiston's been practicing that for a while. Knows his angles. That's kind of dropped. It's a blade storm that could have come into play. Had he made it in the ward site, and I think he would have needed a kill at that point, but still. Rams falling, Vitality's retake looks even less likely, and Obnox chooses a perfect time to make a play. This is looking like a different big, at least in this round here. Yeah, that's solid read to getting them into the A site basically for free, and it seems like the second these afterplants come through, they almost look unstoppable. Like, there hasn't been any sort of response other in the round that was the bonus, so fantastic work from them. Aslan's even going to be there to the beginning of the round. This is looking like another ace execution. Like, Big is basically doing the same thing again. If it was the corner, Brahms might even have found them fading out after. In fact, he now knows the snake bite goes down. Good damage. And vulnerability for Twist and 65 HP inside his own ult, but he's still able to drop Brahms, Vac Falls, and Vitality are left 2v5.
in the blink of an eye, this round is secured for the attacking side. Spike planted. Yeah, and I, I think this is more worrying than a lot of the others. And they are finding a lot of success without that much variation. The setup's there to try and deny them in A main. And already Aslan has managed to find that opening kill onto Brams. Now there is a trade back. Hunter's Fury also expended, but the advantage is going in the other direction. And now Vax's been dropped as well. And well, getting a res off there is going to be incredibly awkward. While all of this has gone on, Twisted has also just taken over B. It seems like they got more map control than they could ever need. And just look at God B. He's just waiting. Go on, go on, revive him. Go on, go on. Some save it, saving Private Ryan action right there. This hat being a landslide in a lot of occasions, but it's not normally as dominant. 290 damage to you first, um, just to make sure. Oh, Catanel oh, low. No. Bram's dead. Okay, Cad has found a trade. He's on 6 HP and that box is very, very spammable. So he's got to be a little bit careful. Viper's pit has gone down and there's a flank as well. It's not even the player you'd normally expect to be in these sort of scenarios. So they might not even worry at this stage. The freest kill on the first. And I don't know if he realizes where the drone has exactly come from. But Shadow's position is now an awful one. He's completely surrounded on all fronts to try and find three different players. And Twiston will come out to execute him. From 9 3. <laughs> they can always go back. Well, let's see. They might not be able to go back because they're rushing on in. They think the full oh, rotate will already oh, have come no. through. Aslan is okay. dropped and Kat is over there. Three kills and a spike now secured. One Vitality may finally have a defensive seconds, side yeah. round. Sender somehow being behind Obnox seems to secure it. The ace, only one shot. Oh, this lurk from Obnox again. He's been able to garner this position so off Rams. Oh, big An damage. Opportunity here. I th they're actually just going to plant while he's still here. Uh, just the straight up disrespect. It just fades away. Just sat at the back of the site. Well, <laughs> they don't even seem to realize he's there. They've spotted him. They damaged him, but he was able to survive. And I, I don't know if that was communicated properly. Kana is going to be able to trade things back. And it does look like we're heading to overtime. It's all left on to Twiston. And he's not really in the right spot to deny this. Why'd they go B? I'm, I'm kind of whatsoever. Twisting again. He's gonna be on the back of this site with a fair amount to do here. He does have the cross, and actually, he's been able to drop the spike in an awful position. It doesn't get much more open than that. Already taking a second down, even while being pushed. And his teammates trying to get back in. However, Brams has just traded two back. Which they appear to be doing. Aslan has fallen back, and he'll be pushed on. Brams dropped right after, though. Casp had him covered, at least. Had him traded. And Shadow has a good idea where his opponent is, at least. There's the head spotted on the way across, and it comes down to this duel. Tapping away, there's no time to change sight, so he's got to run back, and Shadow ends up winning it. Going down to the wire, an awkward 1v1 to say the least, but it is in Vitality's favor. And now they have to try and fix the problems that they had pretty much throughout the entirety of the previous half which is their A site. And otherwise, there you go, he's sprinting on through, suspecting these rotates have come in. All off the information! It's on Bram to so try and hold down the back of this site. Basically do everything for the team! And he's managed to get himself one! The instant response from Aslan with that operator is gonna be enough. He's tagged desperately low. The shock dart could actually do a lot of damage. It's being saved to try and do some damage onto the planter, but actually doesn't really get anything for it. Healing over here! And now those heals are starting to come on through. Aslan back up to 100 now with the op in hand yet again. Dash is online, but he's not going to be able to use it. Doesn't even get the shot off in time and was suppressed. 1v3 to stay alive. Obnox has to go nuclear on this one. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. Around the right side, there's two players and they're hopeful. Control on to B. However, they've lost the fight to Twister. That they have. It looks like they're going to... And Big, right. knowing that I'm now okay. That my Tic Tacs have been nasty as Aslan sneaks his way oh. in the fountain and executes Brams. It leaves a lot to be desired for the remaining players of Vitality. A few Last low members on the other side, but not going to happen this time. In a trade off you don't get any uh, bonus on the ult. Uh, he can't. Oh, that's a good start. Kada's rifle on the deck. This is going to put them up to three. They've also got the Seekers out very early on. Trade back from Brams. This twist and we'll be out of there. 
Now you're going to see the, the trade of the drones as they bypass each other. And Bonus round out from Big. They put a lot into this one. Sender is perfectly placed, though. He'll turn it into a three versus three and even reposition to try and catch them out the toilets. Yeah, look at the comfort of this guy on this map. It's so good. He has them red to the point that he's in the perfect position to catch their mid or TP play. And then he sneaks his way into the cubby. And the fact that we've had such incredible performances from pretty much that that, that triple core throughout, like oh, sure Cadaver has still been solid and well, Shadow speak of the <laughs> devil and he shall appear, but... Vax, yeah, Vax is still on the other side of the map and now they're starting to go pushing. God, B might be in trouble. That's the spike. He's just gone in on his own. He's expecting because his teammates managed to clear so much of the site. Oh, it's awkward as well for Aslan. Oh no! Then he faces a second later, <laughs> like big. I normally I'd say like by. A... Well, yeah, sure. There's not an awful lot here. Nice work. At least Kada will be able to trade it back. Three v three. This is workable. Oh Shadow! Oh, he's making such a good attempt at this. Already taking down two. He's low HP. Ooh. And Aslan didn't even see him. I think his view model got in the way. But Shadow goes down in the end, a lack of ammunition, and a plant is found for Aslan, he's stunned down below, there's a snake bite in oh. front of him, and now he's being peaked. Sender, and, and you're not gonna see those early shock dart, damn it, well, doesn't, never mind, whatever. <laughs> already down. Well, that was a quick conclusion at that point. All the possibilities, uh, concluding in one, and Garby has been <laughs> ruined. Brought to mid, should I say, brought to Kata. Because he's about to take it down, oh, and now they've got to go back. Cat is even going to clear it up close, ensuring his teammates that they're about to take fight. The players are close, and even though Twiston finds the one. It's because you're being caught too much now in individual duels. Oh, that showstopper not going according to plan. Brams is sort of caught unaware. Too many players overwhelming him on the site, but only Casper that's taking those scalps. Three kills for him already. Two bit scared the showstopper. Luckily used to take down the low HP guy, and now this round looks so, so easily to win. And you still have a Viper's Pit online and an off to retake into it, even still the 1v2. The time on your side with the spike, this is uh, done and done. All these sort of like sneaky lurk plays, players managing to only have the SMG and the pistol, that it doesn't matter too much. But... Yeah, it's a little bit odd. We'll catch it back after the game, double check, because I, I, I don't think they should have died there. But anyways, that was weird. Uh, see these, these shadows down. He's been tagged up and dealt with. Got B. Still inside of the bath. He's going to be able to take his orb and come join his teammates. The spike just making its way up mid. And kind of making it into heaven. They've got a flash available. Here's a grav well about to come through. Oh no, it was a smoke and twist and came up behind Brams. Caught him off guard and now has a play in towards the spawn. These players in heaven are completely trapped. Kata has nowhere to go. And the nade is even going to land right at his feet. A headshot seconds after. It's retaken. I, I feel like the only thorn in the side, well, was going to be Obnox. Because he was in a solid position to try and catch them out. Sender might actually just go for the peak here to try and deny them. He's got support from an operator as well, which is of course kept from the previous round. If he can just almost bait Open this close. out and try and give opportunities for back, this could really fall apart as he's managed to find himself a second kill. He's on 23 HP, but Shadow sneaking up has managed to catch Aslan off guard. Another member falling for big, huge investment for Vitality in this round. But it looks like it's paying off. The defuse going to be attempted in just a moment and cast pushing him. The downside of no sense and all that we see nowadays, you have to commit a player to that defense, but Cast does a good job at least finding the one kill as the spike goes down big. Still have the advantage to play with, thanks to Aslan's pick, and they're even starting to push up a little closer. This is a bit of a risk by Aslan, they don't have control of their back, remember? Cat is still making that flank happen, so they've got to commit one player back there, leaving Aslan pretty isolated, but not only does he win his duel, Gobby shows up as well, so Vac is left alone. I don't see him getting out of this one alive even, because after he finds that first kill, okay, well, you know, never mind. <laughs> Just kill everyone, then... And if he can't, then they don't, and that, that, that is a worrying prospect, because again, they... they I think a nade from Twiston should follow? No? No follow of nade, that was just to take control. Okay, fair enough. Aslan, oh my god, man! Never mind your snake bite, he's running on his site! Taking double kills as he goes. Cast this in their spawn. This guy is in their spawn. Wait. We're just taking out 
that early Viper's pit and a double opener into any site is always going to be welcome. Uh-oh! He's going to... Oh! 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 What?! That's this! He's back. He's got to be very, very careful around this angle. He's going to get a freebie at least. Again, it's always the spike carrier! Every time! They're in the site and the guy with the spikes just dead! Uh, they don't quite know where to go. That flash was their last, and now Gobby loses his head. They can wait. In fact, we're called. Obnox now has freedom to go up mid, but Brams shuts him. Resurgence from big. Now they go on to the defensive side and twist him, but it's not stopping. Another opener for him. Oh, what a shot from Job B. Looking for a little bit more. Those right clicks not going to land, but he's got plenty of teammates to back him up. Big might have fumbled that last round, but they're certainly not giving Vitality the pistol. Yeah, yeah again. They're, they're I mean, both, both somewhat invincible. Aslan has made the choice to play with a Spectre here instead. And with that full upgrade for Vitality now, having all players on rifles, they're... Oh, oh, that nade! And the grab well! Dumpy can barely get out with his life! 55 HP! Bram's up close! Distracting and dealing some damage to Casper and Gobby won't get out with his life. Only one drop and look at Aslan on his way through. He's already 50 HP. A good attempt, but now it's just one remaining. It seems unlikely they'll be able to find these final two kills. In fact, more than one bullet needed onto each of them. And Well, I'm sure you've gathered it's only one needed to take him down. I'd need to pull off something... Basically impossible. And with the current positions as well, it's not gonna get any better. It uh, actually, might be surprised. Oh, okay. All right. We'll if you're looking at the worst way. KD, though, you're not. That's oh, okay. It got stacked. There's four, oh three God, players trial. on this site. Aslan's managed to get one for one. Oh, it's a, the, the scan is just wrecking them. So much information. Gobby still manages to win the duel, and actually they've just ducked out. I can't really blame them. But Casper's still in this close corner, and they haven't cleared it with utility at least. They need to almost hard pre-fire this angle. He's just waiting, playing oh. it patient, and he's going to get rid of the Viper's Pit. Oh, that's One so costly in so many ways, losing another player. This was just pistols in this round for Big. Left. And now it's left on Takata, trying to pre-fire the first, but they're ready for the trade. Beautiful stuff from Big. Bobby's able to destroy it, fall back a little bit. It's cheap enough control game. Oh no, well, that's not the, the Sova drone as well, at least for the moment. They also got a tag back in response themselves and got B just back. Helps from the other side of the map and it was obviously some foresight, some forethought. Got B in a little bit of trouble now, they know he's here. That spray is beautiful though, Bram's left on half health and another tag. That leaves him to just one. Plan's still going to be found though by Vitality. Does that get Seekers online? Spike planted. No. Not quite. Rams. Oh, he's low. A little bit of a weird flick back, but it's still going to be into a two versus two. Casper doing everything he can, and while it's left all onto Shadow, seems like they don't he's have clue where he currently is until, well, maybe you're right, just making a little bit of noise. I think he stepped the second that so they put the grab well up, which is going to delay him just that little bit more. Oh no! <gasps> Oh, and now here comes the showstopper on the other side, firing through and finding back. It's the 50 HP player. That's honestly as good as it gets. If you're over on the side of Vitality, a trade you'll be happy with as they now move in to the later stages. These pistols are about to be tested, and Kata is dropped without any difficulty. Oh, he didn't want to give them the information. Instead, he gives them his life. The timing of the drop as well just makes it so easy for them to swing. These trades have been fantastic. And now they need to try and stop them getting onto that defusal. It's left all onto Shadow. There is no chance of him winning this round. Solid retake. Yeah, yeah he checks his angles. Fair play. And that nade and shot dart combo. Are oh, they screwed? That is wonderful. They even have the pre-fire so that if he... This is not a look that I'm used to seeing on this man. I love the attempt, but it doesn't quite work out. Luckily, though, Obnox is here. Now flashing in towards Long, but God, B will be caught. This Vat goes for a very early peek. That was an aggressive to plant. No trouble. The only man that can stop them is Obnox. He's actually going to go facing into this. Gets the first and all back. 
Uh, we'd sort of mentioned he'd gone a little bit quiet, but comes back explosively in this round. Three versus two, still possibility here, and while the two players remaining are definitely the two top performers that we've seen in this map so far. If anybody's going to clutch it out, it will be these two gentlemen, or at least this one. Full opportunity to close this out and take it across the line, and these rounds have been convinced. Casper has to go huge in this corner. He'll shut down the first, but caught in midair. The B site will fall, and the plant will be secured. And it, it seems like that showstopper is utterly cursed. Whenever Vac pops it, he just gets owned by something. Uh, three versus four for his teammates to try and keep him in the map. Now, the flash doesn't actually pop in time. Is this going to be a peak from Brams? I think he realizes that they need to try and do something to get back into this round with the current disadvantage, but that would definitely be one of the riskier attempts to try and do something. Here he goes. He's going to go facing back in and loses the duel. Obnox, almost too easy. Kill is left onto Shadow to try and bring something back. Hannah's done work as well on the other side, turning it into a two versus two, and the time definitely ticking, but they're just sticking this. He's holding it all the way! The peak from Hannah will deny, and now it's left onto Twist, and he does not have most happened again. I, and this is from a much more dominant scenario for Big. Like, sure, that their attack aside of the previous map was looking incredible, and then it slipped away from them. Definitely shouldn't. Big have had so many chances to close this, as we said. <gasps> Oh, that's a lot Beautiful. of damage. Try and find information, and instead they use the Tiger just to clear out some of these positions. I, Vitality have taken so long to rotate that they're now actually pushing into a stack. Casper, oh, I thought he was going to get caught on the timing there, but did they even expect him to be in this corner? Vac, not really looking for it. His teammate is lost. He's even going to go for the orb as he peeks <gasps> back through. The TP is taken, and now the spike's going back in the other direction once seconds, again. Yeah. Twiston is the lone defender. I don't think he's going to be able to stop the plant from going down. He's been seen as well. Kata has the information, but surely is going to die to that showstopper. Now it's down to the Hunter's Fury to try and do something. And instead, the spike's been lost. It looks like they're finally going to bring this one home. Shadow, the only one remaining. And twist. But that's also what I'm saying. But yeah, after plant. Uh, a 5v5 after plant and a pistol. Not something you're going to see too often, especially on split. And while God B really doesn't last much longer, his breach, something we really haven't seen much of in this tournament so far. However, the rest of the team are doing an incredible job leaving Brams and Kata to try and fight this one back. A two versus two. Brams definitely having a quieter map than what we've seen so far in this tournament. They've got this dirty crossfire on the other side and Brams just landing the instant headshot. They expected that to be a bait. It's left onto Casper. He might not realize it's already half though. Is he going to re-peak off the back of this? He will and he's baited Kata especially enough time that it shouldn't matter at this point. It is going to be the pistol going the way of Bing. Of oh, Big has been disappointed. Yes. This is the first one I'm genuinely excited to see. So I, I think that's that's a good sign in itself that they, they seem to, they've picked up a decent core of players and well in this round at least taking a few casualties here and there. Kind of. Or is he going to get caught jumping down? He will. A bit of damage, but he actually gets another kill. He's made this workable for Brams. It shouldn't be around. This even close. And now he lands the headshot on to twist him. A one versus one. Gob to try and keep this one in their favor it should have been a much cleaner round than this and well they'll at least get dash out no matter what this is a contract ah! play from big but vitality seemed to be ready except they could have already lost Kada, he's trying to take this into his own hands and casper again shouldn't coming out from the defense otherwise they're almost just gambling on winning a five versus three take and he's hearing all this noise all these players around him but the timing again lethal Leaving back to mid, but he's walking right into the waiting arms of Caspa. We'll take that kill all too easily. So Alliance are going to play, I assume, versus the loser of this matchup. Talk yes. about that. Let the bracket people let you guys know. Brams might have a nice position to make a move, but the flash catches him back, eliminating Aslan. Now hit by the rolling thunder. Blast pack not going to do much for him, and although he deal deals some damage. Gobby still stands alive. They now look to crunch in on the site. A great flash, but somehow Casp isn't it. The heal still able to be delivered. It's all left on a good old Gobby. After being healed on up, he needs to 1v3. It would be an ace clutch, wouldn't it? If he can manage to pull this off, but a little bit too tall of a task. So if I... Ooh! 
Oh, he's, he's screwed. Mm. He is absolutely sick. have just been so good at just playing patiently, waiting for it to come in. And this time, Brams is the one that goes down. Exactly Great there. work from Aslan. Heat coming back through as well. God, B is going to pick off Shadow, who uh, is a bit of a bold attempt to try and get something done there, but... Oh, you know, I, I can left. appreciate him trying something. Back again, they're just screwed from utility. This round has been beautiful from Gobby. The initial the map, and he's still down in the vent, wishing that he'd moved. Oh, shot from behind. Ross, right, there's no one here, and our whole team is here. So they decide to go back into mid, try to take a fight here, and Kata is about to have a surprise. Plenty of players there, and somehow he's getting away with two. The showstopper. In this direction, where there's a multitude of players already waiting, you can see with the trip down, that can basically just swing off of it, and even if he just buys a little bit of time, that's enough. The stun as well, round over. No time. They're just going to hold on to these guns. Thrifty. Going to find some early duels with it. He has the opportunity, but pulled away too early. Brown's even got caught by the phone line. Now there's a grab. Well, Kata trying desperately to escape, but he's being pursued. And now inside, the smoke, he gets away with a kill. And he is out of there lightning fast, but the res is about to come on through. And Aslan will be back. The problem here being on that defensive side, Vitality have lost a player, and now Kata is just 16 HP. Oh, another aftershock kill. Look at it. They're trying to maybe pad some stats there. Two players remaining for Vitality to try and get back into this site. And with a flank coming through. Now, there is a trip. Not going to be able to get past it without making some noise. Naturally, Sender has already managed to pick off one more. This is starting to get a little bit worrying. They're going to rely heavily on the player on site, Twiston, to do something here. And no, he gets absolutely nothing. Now, it's down to that flank. And it's fairly far away and they're gonna know exactly where he is the second he breaks that trip it's already the angle being watched but it might not matter the peek through is close a nice attention now on the other side they know that this control has been lost but maybe not to what extent nice shot from Kata to kick things off Aslan gone and the rotation comes through with support from Shadow utility available to just try and delay them as much as humanly possible and well, for now at least they might have that heaven control, but that's about it. Shadow caught unaware there, stepping as he fires. I know Down goes out of the off now. Gone. Brahms is dealt with immediately. An info wasn't even needed. Blast pack over to his death. Twiston's got a 3k. And big are looking dominant in these rounds on the attack. I said it would be a grind. I'm with you on that. Here on the attack side, they're certainly looking good. I don't want to see them choke out again as the game goes on. Still a second half to be played out. We have to remember them with the way these teams True. have gone so far. God, oh, there's so many players. It's a firing squad. And the flash is good. Shadow able to eliminate cast on it. That slows the push, and it might even make Big reconsider, but look up in heaven. You've got Sage lurking her way through. It's Opnox. Might just catch an angle on them in a moment. Looks like they're aware of it, though. They know they've given up the control, but now Shadow's under a little bit too much pressure to really worry about it. He's on the backside, and here comes Obnox to take him down. Wall up. She's oh, even on top of it. Nasty stuff. <laughs> he's, he's giving away the game. They know there's someone close now. They're actually going to go pushing through, though. And Well, I, I think that was a leg shot in combination, because uh, unless it was maybe just off the back of the smoke, but... Oh, this utility deal kill coming through. It's so interesting, man. You even have a fault line coming in from spawn. They are fighting tooth and nail for this. You had an aftershock to push the judge back into a further range. God, B with a big mistake. He stays close. And now back has the spike. He won't get out. Of now they're left to, to essentially lose out this final round of the half. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just, just. just. Vank is on his way up into heaven, and he's already caught That's Aslan. Nice. A great grab well they follow up on. He's now been spotted, but he's on his way over towards Opnox. Who doesn't okay. last long either? Vank has backup as well. That's the scary thing. He's not just running this solo with a jet right behind him. Senders winning duels elsewhere, and oh, they haven't checked close right here. Now they do still cast able for two. When you're playing a breach, any kills you can get in these sort of scenarios is just moving you towards getting that rolling thunder man we know how much he's going to be able to do with that particular ultimate instead though they've got him trapped into a corner 
shouldn't really be anything coming through here, and it will be another BX, uh, 2BX fights. They'll always have a teammate backing them up. Oh, the stun is solid. It's going to make God be in real trouble. Well, there you go. They make up the ground. Exactly what you said, Kata. An easy first kill. And it's an afterplant guaranteed. They're also going to steal that weapon away. The re-aggression from Azan, it gives them a close range angle. It's almost too easy. Corners. Waiting on a yeah, decent crossfire. B main covered as well. Series as well. 15 13. So there you go. That, things are getting very spicy in this qualifier. Yeah, a couple unexpected results. Just like that fight there for Vac. <laughs> Kata, <laughs> Goodbye. He's wall bang headshot him. Gobby's he's gone. The one way cloud burst that's going to stop any sort of a peak from coming out up top. Nice kill for Brams as Kata follows up. Aslan eventually peeking in, that one-way smoke had disappeared, but so too had the jet a moment later. Kata with three kicks to worry about, their back is covered, so Kata comes up, supports Heaven, they take that fight to together. Fight Center does a great job, he gets so many kills, Kata's there to trade whatever they need, and the other team doesn't get the rifle. Just absolutely perfect. Another showstopper that doesn't find any results here, but Twist and Opnox, they're showing up for some. Yeah, they've managed to hold off this initial push and the peek out from Obnox, a, a nasty surprise for Vac using their own cosmic divide against them and oh this now becomes quite a, a tough take Aslan here with the operator as well just going to be holding he knows exactly where they are not missing that shot on your life and out. he's dead uh, he's going to try and fake it to try and get someone to run in on the plant and the stun's there as well and uh, not letting this one slip away this, this entire series has just been one sided half after another this one no different, but now we come into the late stage where things are really contested and Gobby and Twisted are the ones to open things up. The rifle's in their hands, the A-hold is strong. And Vitality, they commit a lot, they don't find anything for it. Not even a bit of map control. They've snuck a player up through mid, but bigger, more than aware they've given up that control and they're just dueling again and again, even dropping the spike in the open and now a slow on top of it. I mean, Sender would be running into certain death if he peeks that off. This take has definitely not gone to plan. Sender, oh, he's, he's screwed and it's Fight left onto Brams eight. now, who's done. He might check for this, but, well, I don't, even if he does, I don't think he's going to get anything past Gobby. They played two, lost two. Terrible record. Good vitality are sneaking their way on these ropes. Knob knocks. Above on the wall, he's being spotted. Finds the first, the second, and he's out Ooh. of there. Nice and clean. Good discipline as well. Not overstaying his welcome. Vitality are going to have a real left. tough time getting into this one. That said, they have found Obnox. Yeah, the information's still there from Twiston. It's holding in the corner. He's going to be forced out by the aftershock, and he can't actually escape. It's perfectly placed, and Brams with a nice, oh, easy frag. That's actually the spike down, though. There's only 12 seconds left. He needs to retrieve this and cross into the site. Now, luckily, his teammate is there to hold off anybody in the rotation, but it gives an isolated jewel. They don't expect Sender to be here, though. It turns it into a 1v1. Both Astra's low, both tagged, and both going into the same position. Brams didn't look like he'd be able to some players over into the A site. Doesn't seem to have worked out too well, though. Now, this spike right, battle could be long. everything. Oh, no! Aslan's turned around! He doesn't even realize that he just had the opportunity to end it. He's going to switch things left. up to his Bladestorm, but he's already dead. He just doesn't know it yet. Into a 3 versus 3 scenario. A decent position, at least towards the spawn, but they're not going to be able to hold on to it. I, I'm still completely unhappy with how uh -oh. that unfolded, but somehow Vitality are making it work. Run that back 10 more times, they'll lose every single one of them because that spike gets dropped, but Aslan barely missed him. Now Bigger trying to retake it. Oh, Twisted's already got two. It's anyway. like on the shadow. Oh, oh, oh. It comes up huge. A With a minute on the clock, it will be the B site that Vitality looked towards. Aslan taking first contact. Opnox was spotted up close and he barely makes it away. The slow orb landing. Not going to do all too much for them. In fact, they can still make it out main. It only covers the side. They're burning a lot of utility here. Nobody yet coming out to meet Kata, who's left alone. And they are still waiting around mid. And it'll be a late play into B, but look what they have to deal with. The judge of oh, is just farming them as they walk on through. Oh my god. 
I mean, I've never seen so many people just for 12 11, just have one more and have the economy in their favor. Right. Now, everything's against them. Aslan with a strong start. Gonna be back down the stun solid as they do look to try and challenge the players up above. But with the aftershock there, Cabot gains some ground, but nothing more will come of it. To allow this to happen, right? Not in the sense that they're, you know, <laughs> giving away rounds, but they play an eco. <laughs> the goal of Aslan, because that that is such a ballsy position to try and peek him with. And yeah, I'm not. Oh, there goes Caspa. This is starting to fall apart for Big. They were just one round away from securing it. Still are, but now they're a man down. Just one, thanks to Twistin. Oh, Nox making his way up above. I don't know how he's going to kill out of that after the blast pack, but it's falling apart again, leaving just the one. To take this one now, especially he's been spotted out. The cam on the spike gives it away, and uh, well placed back. It's in crack games beforehand and so on. Aslan gonna make his way onto the site. Finding one as he goes. Vac deleted. Brams dancing around the back. Will eventually deal with Aslan. Okay, so the advantage goes to Vitality. And even further with Kata's operator finding its mark. The IGL of Gobby is down, and so too is the spike. Now in a position where they have to worry about that operator. That's what Twiston's for, though. He's on his way over in towards the cage. He's already revealed the operator, but Brams is providing cover. And it all comes down to Obnox. The 1v3 as he gets the spike planted. Vitality are unfazed, gathering their forces, grouping up the wall soon to smash into smithereens. Leaving Obnox to attempt to play. The first kill found, low HP on Kadavra, but the operator is too strong. 30 seconds left. Ooh. They're running out of time. Seriously running out of time. Bram somewhat sold the fake as the rest of the players look to push in. Aslan in a solid position though is already going to drop one. Can he get anything more done? Twiston's still here on the side. They need to get rid of him and Aslan just connecting shots. Anything put in front of him. In fact, even at close range, he's going to ruin back. Send up with no I have a little bit of information. It has a flash set up from Shadow. This would have to be a god flash with how many players are coming round the corner. Stung gonna leave him in an awkward spot and you can see the rescue being attempted. I don't know how Sender is still alive throughout all of this. And actually he's got counter utility still being put out. Eventually though, he will drop. And now Shadow becomes the only defender left on this site. Gets a kill though, backs away, and waits for support of back. Just gonna go running in! Already lands an instant headshot, the nade oh. might do the rest, but it's not quite gonna reach. The wall that was panicked dropped down actually ends up saving Obnox, and he goes through to eliminate Vac okay. Shadow, still alive on the site, and getting work done. It's a teammate on his way over, they've swapped positions now, the attackers occupying the site. And going for the plant, Obnox super low on health. Spike Easily planted. spammable there, but it would be a big risk, and That's they just do not want to take it right now. And set themselves up ally. to move in towards the site, but that res is going to force things a little bit. Oh my god! Oh! Shadow gets all four, and Brams! ...of their hold at the end of it, but again, like I mentioned that Shadow has had impact elsewhere other than the fragging department. He's added that in the most crucial time. 14-13. A 3-2 setup. Being cautious of anybody creeping up through vents. In fact, looks like they're now starting to shift towards a V-hold entirely. Vitality already blitzed out here. And Kata is inside the cloud burst. Aslan delivering on the other side. The battle of the Jets will ensue. And Kata seems to be winning it for now. With Aslan falling, it's left down to one. A valiant effort by Big. But it looks like this time they have met their match. I did not think that they would be able to reach this kind of height. Though certainly speaks massively about what we can expect from this big lineup in the lower bracket. But unless Twiston is about to pull off a 1v4, it will.